Welcome back, baseball fans, to another elimination video. We're eliminating the Las Vegas expansion team, who had a wonderful year. Winning that uh, division in the mountain that's always up for grabs year to year. Uh, last year, this team was 8-21. and 21. This year, 21-21, and 21, won a division, won a playoff game, the game you saw, but um, they did lose game four. So, looking at the stats, it was a heck of a year for Jim Rowland, one of the improved players who contributed. Nice year at the back of the bullpen. His only loss was the uh, final game of the season. Um, couldn't preserve a one-run lead in the bottom of the ninth of game four against San Francisco. He just ran out of gas, it looked like. Uh, Blue Moon Odom, at the top of rotation, had a really lousy year, yet the team was 500. So there's confidence if he comes back and improves, the whole team will improve. Woody Fryman was horrible last year. This year he got better. He's got a great card. For some reason, I don't have much luck with Woody Fryman and Strat. He did have four complete games. Fondra had a nice year. Uh, doesn't reflect it in the stats, though, but he pitched well when he was on the YouTube. Herbal's final start was a masterpiece that he just ran out of gas in against the Giants. And as far as the hitting, Tommy Davis all year long was, was hitting that card. 353. Four armor, 20 RBI. Uh, Ken Berry, another improved player. That's the fourth improved player to contribute. Uh, 1-0 e in center field. Unbelievable. 254, 23 RBI, five stolen bases. Ron Hansen, another big year with that fringe extra player card he had in 70. Uh, has gone to the last two All-Star games for Las Vegas. Art Shamsky, a nice piece they added uh, off, they took from the Mets. Nice slugger, uh, left-handed slugger. Uh, 377 on base, nice slugging there. Bacabella, six home runs to lead the team. He was tied with four players. He had many home, several home runs in the playoff series. Fun team. A lot of uh, looking at defense on the on this team. Kubiak's a two e nineteen at short. Collins a two e six at second. Barry one e zero in center. A Rod's a one e nineteen at third. Though he had a big error in game four. Um, Jeff torborg has got a minus one arm. But it's time to open up the stack here and see who's leaving Las Vegas. <laughs> Who is leaving Las Vegas and who's going to stick around and. Uh, you know, play the slots and whatnot. So, looking at that, pulling the 69 guys out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, these eight cards will leave. Only one real major contributor here. You might come back. But this is your Las Vegas squad moving forward. Do they come back to the playoffs and repeat what they just did? Or do they... Are they a Zenith or are they a Portland? A lot of Zeniths in this division. Okay. Well, Torborg's coming back. You got a catcher with a minus one arm. That's not a bad start. Tommy Davis should probably be your DH. But he at least can play all over the place. He can just find a hole. Tommy will play it. Maybe not particularly well defensively, but he'll play it. You got Hansen in the middle infield here. He's bringing this all-star card back. He had 91 bats and 70 for the Yankees, and he's been with Vegas all this time and has gone to several all-star games. We saw the Bacabella card. We like him as a catcher first base. Let's tuck him in here. And then you have Cullen's a second baseman, 2 e six. So we're getting we're getting this thing filled up kind of nicely. You got A-Rod, of course, your third baseman. Right? A-Rod at third and Barry in center. So basically you need a couple corner outfielders. Davis could be one of them. And just backups and so forth. So and as far as pitching goes, Blue Moon Odom is missing. He'll be evaluated. Fryman and Cloninger in the back of the bullpen. But Three lefties. 
So three lefties is nice to have them in tow. But you do need a frontline pitcher because Fryman only pitched 114 innings, Cloninger 148. Proof of principle, Cloninger did a fine job. Um, Ken Brett, you don't really want to put him in the rotation here if you don't have to. Just leave him back there in the bullpen. Lefty gets lefties out. So you need some frontline pitch. You need some innings. Innings eaters. Uh, call around for an innings eater. So let's see. What do Las Vegas do? What do they do with their 69 guys? Okay, let's take a peek at what Vegas is going to do with their hitters and pitchers. They have the nice split. Five and three. Five hitters and three pitchers to evaluate here. And uh, really, I'm only seeing one major contributor. Let's start with a gentleman named Julio Gote. And we can tell you right now that his career is over. It ended in 1969. That was the last year for Julio. Did a fine job. He got a start in that playoff game against Ron Bryant. He had 259 in 1969 with that card. And his career is over. So for Gate, we will retire him, column three. Next up, Kubiak. Great defensive card. It's a 219 at shortstop. He'll play through to 76. One of those mustachioed athletics of the World Series Dynasty era. Got himself, oh, look at that. Got himself three rings, folks. Yeah, that's what you can do if you're a switching middle infielder who can field. So, let's back up a little bit. The 69 card with the A's, interestingly, he left and came back. They said, oh, no, we can't, we can't win a World Series without Kubiak. So he left in 69. He went to Milwaukee. That didn't work out. In 71, he went to St. Louis. That didn't work out. Then to Texas. Then the A's said, Ted, come on back. We want you uh, on our World Series roster for the next three years. So the 70 card... It's 252, 653 in a full season. Question is, are, is this team going to keep him or are they going to trade him? And for now, we're going to keep him. We're going to keep him because we're an expansion team. We need all the help we can get. If we have too many keepers, then we'll go to the next step. But for right now, we want guys to bring back. Art Shamsky from 65 to 72. Was a Met. He got a ring, I'm sure, in 69, yeah. 300. 863 OPS with this card at age 27. The Mets would have liked him. They weren't able to keep him. They ended up with a Ken Singleton occupying that spot, who's had a fine year for the Mets. But look at 1970. Another great year for Shamsky, folks. And they're going to keep him. And maybe... What Las Vegas should do is get on the phone with the Mets and say, hey, you want your guy back? And as the Mets will be in the World Series business again next year, you figure, with Seaver, Kuzman, and Matlack. We'll be in the World Series business the next four years with those three guys. All right, Ramon Webster. A lot of Websters out there, but we're looking for Ramon. From 67 to 71, he was in Oakland A. Bounced around a little bit. Oakland, Padres, back to Oakland and the Cubs. Not a lot of playing time. Can only qualify for waivers if he has a card for the 1970 season. That's a full season with the Padres at 116 plate appearances. Let's go check that out. And to do that, we will go to Gary's roster sheet page. You can find this at superdeeves.tripod.com slash somrosters.html. It's got all of the older strat rosters, including reprints. So we're using the 70 reprint, and we want to see if the Padres were nice enough to give us Ramon Webster. And looking here... Ooh, I'm not seeing it. 
unless he's an extra player in 1970. He is. He's a 1970 extra player, which means his card exists. Which also means that I can put him on waivers, which we will do. And the last hitter is Steve Whitaker. And we get to finally show you some really interesting mistake. And maybe they printed this, uh, maybe they made a mistake in doing the stats for this guy, because right there, bats left, throws right, okay, in 1969. So for the Seattle Pilots, a short uh, season, or 116 plate appearances, hits 250, six homers. Now let's take a look at the splits and see what they were and, com and compared to the card. So the Whitaker splits in 69. Here they are. Well, it's interesting. Yeah, two homers and 20 at-bats, four homers and 96 at-bats. So you'll give them power both ways. And uh, 260 on one side and 200 on the other side. That's about right. Yeah, so uh, I think they printed the information, the 17% uh, against left-handed pitchers. That's 20 out of, uh, 21 out of 100 and, 21 out of 130 plate appearances. So that's 17, let me just double check. Yeah, 17%. So the percentages are right as well. So I believe the information on the Stratomatic card is accurate. It's just that I think they put an R for batting instead of an L. And that's the first mistake I've found. I'm sure there are others. But yeah, so as a left-handed batter uh, who has a, a 790 OPS in this limited sample size against left-handed pitchers, that 69 card was a pretty nice little card for the Las Vegas team to use. So now the next question, after that evaluation, does Mr. Whitaker continue? And the answer is no. Uh, he has a cup of coffee in 1970 for the Giants, but it's time to retire Steve Whitaker. All right, now let's go to the pitching. And we will stop, start with a big name. How many blue moons are there out there? Just one. Blue Moon Odom, and I tell you, man, these Oakland players are just strewn around baseball. You're wondering if the Oakland A's don't win a World Series, you can say, well, you've moved all their players to different teams. So yeah, Blue Moon's not on the A's, and the A's would love to team him up with Vita Blue and Catfish Hunter. So 69, he was an all-star, and then you gotta pick the right year here. The right year would be 1972. That's the winner. Winner, chicken dinner. 15 and 6, 250. Beyond that, eh, he's kind of meh. So he's definitely a keeper. Though, again, an expansion team like this would be willing to get on the phone and get some resources in a trade. Uh, Blue Moon Odom would definitely get you a nice return. All right, next guy is Ken Johnson. And there are two of them. But only one in the timeline, this one, Ken Johnson. So, he wraps up his career in 70. Went on the rotation in the early, mid-60s with the Strohs. Then he went to the Braves. And then he has, in 1970, he pitched six innings. There are four this season. His career is over. Thank you, Ken Johnson, for your 69 season. It was a fine year, a 2.84 ERA. Actually, it was a 4.13 ERA. I don't know how they, oh, they compiled. Oh, he had three stops with the Braves, the Yankees, and the Cubs. They made one big card for 48 innings, and that's the card we used, and that's the card we will say farewell to, Ken Johnson. All right, so now, with already three retirees, we know that Vegas has to make calls in the offseason. They cannot go into the draft with this roster the way it's currently situated. Um, 
So, the fourth and final player, the starter of game four, went, guy who was in the Giants organization, here he is, folks. He pitched for Vegas in game four against his former team, the San Francisco Giants, and gave them a start. Uh, he was fantastic. And uh, he can come back. Look at this, folks. In 1970, he leads all of baseball in appearances. Uh, the number's a little on the high side, but... Yeah. That's for two different teams. So he qualifies for waivers. And we need a guy to go on waivers. So let's put old Ron on waivers. So now that Ron Herbal start was an audition. He can, now that everybody's seen him pitch in a playoff game, we'll be like, let's go get this guy. So there you go, folks. Three keepers, two waivers, three retirees. They have to get on the phone. <laughs> they have to acquire a keeper. Maybe they can trade Blue Moon Odom and a retiree for two keepers. That would be nice. Trade one starter for two starters that are in the keeper pool elsewhere. So there's plenty of time to discuss that before next year's draft. But that's it tonight, folks. Interesting and fun year with Las Vegas. You know, Team 31 or 32, it doesn't matter. But the mere fact that they weren't a joke. And again, I mean, I want these teams to be competitive. Otherwise, it's it's a waste of time to have a fictional expansion team and then get them, having them get blasted all the time. They put a legitimate scare into the San Francisco Giants in a playoff series. Um, and last year, Colorado Rockies beat the Cubs in a playoff series. And yeah, so it's kind of fun to have one division where you know an expansion team will always make the playoffs. That's it tonight. Thanks for checking out the video. We'll see you next time.